Moving on. Moving on. As far as I can tell, you're a man of the academic world, so this book about Nabe and Laura is just an empirical study? What? That nonsense? I'd prefer to lose my eyesight than read such trash. So, you know nothing about it? I know nothing. I wish I'd never heard of it in the first place, this caricature of science. Do I hear traces of envy? You're still relatively young that you might find your own, Laura. Perhaps I envy, Nabe, for I cannot simply blow people up for distracting me. That's all. You happy now? Wonderful. You are guilty, Mr. Swift. Killing Theodore Gildon was a testing challenge, but you succeeded. What makes you think I'm somehow involved in Gildon's death? My partner's death, I might remind you. You were there when Theodore Gildon died. Nonsense. I visited him many times, but I wasn't there when the elephant killed him. Then I must have made a mistake, because the murderer met Goliath's rage personally. The perpetrator was hit by the gate and thrown into the shed. Your bruise matches the contour of the broken hole. One further detail is that the murderer had a bosun's knife. Fairly useful in a place where one might cut ropes and fabric, such as, I don't know, the dig site? That's your interpretation of the facts, Mr. Holmes. You've simply aligned them to suit your hypothesis. It's not a hypothesis once proven, it's theory, Mr. Swift. Your dart uses strychnine to kill rodents at the site, is that correct? Well, yes, that is its purpose. The same dart with strychnine was found on Goliath. The very same substance is a powerful stimulant. It causes convulsions, a flow of energy. You shot Goliath. The elephant became extremely energetic, agitated, and so terrified that it killed its owner. For a man of your age, it was easier to hit a larger grey target than a small man. You said it yourself. Goliath killed Theodore, and your strychnine speculations are absurd. Only athletes use it as a stimulant, not elephants. True, but one dart of strychnine would not be enough to kill the elephant, and you knew it. Let me tell you a story. A man spends almost five years of his life locating an artifact. He puts every ounce of energy and money into his research. The same man even goes so far as to sign a contract with a ruthless man, a businessman. It was a risk, but the reward would be worth it. Years go by and there's still no result, so the businessman decides to end the man's research. He spits on the research, he promises to bury the site under an eccentric project. All of this is just his whim. Theodore Gildon could do anything he wanted with this place, and you were anxious about the fate of your research. You wished to protect it. You tried to tame Gildon's eccentricity, but you killed him instead. Theodore wasn't trying to sabotage my career. We had a disagreement, but it wasn't as dire as you describe it. He wasn't a pleasure to talk to, but killing him? Nonsense. Theodore Gildon was a capricious man, extremely impulsive. But the cold-blooded nature of your plan makes you even more dangerous. You feel nothing. You show no remorse. It was simply a calculated move. And that is why you are under arrest. Nothing. You have nothing on me. I think I'll let the police decide if my findings are substantial enough for prosecution. This is all a dreadful mistake. This can't be happening. The elephant killed Theodore! Goliath is innocent and he should be free. He is not the real murderer here. That is the apex of your career, Mr. Swift. Farewell. I told you Mr. Swift was not a real archaeologist. He was a murderer. I knew there was something wrong with him. Fortunately for us, being a murderer was not his profession. And about the elephant? While you were busy, I've dealt with it. No thanks to you. I asked you to solve this wretched problem, but you didn't. I couldn't be in two places at once, Miss Gildon. I was catching your father's murderer. But how have you dealt with it? A man agreed to take the elephant away. He came to me asking for permission to relocate it to his property, and I accepted. Well, congratulations, I suppose. That is one less problem. Actually, two, Mr. Holmes. I found my father's possessions that you can take with you and disappear. I appreciate it, truly. Well, someone has to do something. Take everything if you need to, and leave me be- 
Take care of yourself, Miss Gildon. Theodore Gildon was a ruthless man, a slave of his own impulses. He hurt everyone around him, including his own daughter and pet. So you had to kill him. You considered every possibility, and the most feasible was to get rid of the biggest bully on the island. You felt neither pride nor pleasure, and you won't repeat your crime thanks to your non-impulsive nature. I do not believe you should be in prison. I knew you'd come to your senses. It was never mine. But you should abandon your research and flee. That is your punishment. But, young man, I'm begging you. My hands were already on the tomb. I can't. Of course you can. Otherwise, your next exhibition will be inside a cold cell. This is an extremely difficult situation. But I see I have no choice. Oh, spare the self-pity. Think of Goliath. It is innocent, but it will be executed as the authorities need a guilty party. Leave Cordona. Is it over? Is it finally dead? Goliath has been executed, yes. A barbaric and crude event that your ears shouldn't hear about. Rather, a remarkable achievement of justice. Just what I was expecting. Punitive and inevitable. It can't be undone, so why talk about it? Well, you can't undo the past either. But you yourself keep holding on to that. Speaking of which, I have prepared some of my father's belongings. I am more than happy to give them to you as a reward. Goodbye, Mr. Ohm. That's more than enough. Thank you and farewell, Miss Gildon. Did it feel good killing Theodore Gildon after the humiliation and threats? What? I thought you were blaming Goliath for that. No, no, I think you killed Theodore Gildon. Goliath is, unfortunately, a victim of circumstance. I'm far better than to kill Gildon. Believe me. I can understand why you killed Mr. Gildon. He saw you with his daughter. He checked up on you, yachtsman, smuggler, and a woman. He went so far as to hire some thugs to attack you. Theodore knew your weakness, your career. He forced you into a corner. You're a survivor. You were prepared for the worst, but Theodore surpassed even your worst case scenario. So you responded accordingly. I've earned everything myself. Every victory. Every trophy, every manga, I achieved all of it without murder. I don't need to kill in order to win. And you weren't afraid that he would reveal your secret to the owner of the yacht club or your competitors? I can control my fear. Trust me, I wouldn't have become a professional athlete otherwise. You see, I managed to capture the elephant. Goliath had a dart stuck in his hide, similar to the ones that you used to kill rodents. My guess is that you used Goliath. A dart can kill a mouse or human, but for an elephant, it's not enough. Strychnine is a powerful stimulant and convulsant. Once the drug was in the bloodstream, Goliath became extremely agitated and so blinded by the flow of energy that he killed his owner. And my dart is responsible for that. I'd rather use my hands. 
Yes, there would have been fewer variables, but after the attack on you, your condition didn't allow for a direct confrontation. So, you used what you had. That's not what happened. Anyone might have the same set of darts as I do. They're not expensive. But not everyone knew Theodore and had access to his property. You were at the crime scene at the precise moment when Gildan died. I was not. I was visiting the doctor after the attack on me. Ah, of course, where no one saw you. That's an inconvenience. But in any case, the person who was there met the rage of the elephant. One was struck by the gate with such impact that they were thrown into the shed. The knife fell out. The bruises on your elbow match the contour of the hole in the shed. But I told you where my bruises came from. And I heard you, but you didn't catch my words. A bosun's knife was found there, a very specific tool commonly used in your field. That's only your assumption. I... I was never there. I mean, I was, but not when this happened. I revealed many truths and lies concerning Gildan. One banal fact is that he was a bitter and angry man who acted according to his own desires and impulses. Such people are dangerous, they are unpredictable, and value their own comfort more than anything and anyone. The same as you, Paul. Are you out of your mind? You're a gambler, smuggler, and actor. You indulge your self-importance. Such egocentricity and impulsivity is frightening. I won't allow you to play with someone else's life. You are under arrest. Wait. At least tell Imogen. Tell her where I am. I think she deserves a space without you. I've heard you can gamble on racing in prison, only it's rat racing. No yachts. Goodbye, Paul. Why did you pick my Paul? Out of all the people on this island. Just when I needed someone I could rely on. Believe me, I saved you. I found the true murderer. Would you really choose to live with the person who took your father's life? You took away the pillar I was relying on. Paul was my only hope. You've destroyed it. It was Paul who destroyed it, not me. I was merely the fact checker who discovered the real culprit. And now about that elephant. Oh yes, Goliath. You did nothing about it. I had to deal with it. Fortunately, there was a real man wanting to help me. He agreed to buy Goliath and relocate him to his property. I suppose I must congratulate you. I'd rather you leave. But first, here are my father's belongings. Some of them have information about your mother. Take them and leave me be. I appreciate it, Miss Gildan. I assure you, I only wanted to find the true perpetrator. Perhaps. Or perhaps you found a convenient scapegoat. Goodbye. I truly hope you meet more honest people in the future. Take care. In addition to the true murderer, I discovered many facts concerning Theodore Gildan. He was a ruthless, violent, impulsive, and egocentric man. He didn't care about you or his partners. His daughter openly disregards him despite shedding uh, some tears. He was a hostile man, impossible to reason with. In fact, I can understand why you killed him. My only advice to you is to take Whirlpool and disappear. You accuse me of such nonsense and then you ask me to leave. No. I have to start from scratch. I have to abandon Imogen. That would be only a minor inconvenience. The facts are not in your favor. The police would likely disregard the words of a woman, particularly if she was wearing gentleman's clothing. Also, I would be likely to tell the police all that I know. There is nothing for you here anymore, only anxiety and hostility. Would you wish to live like that or start anew somewhere safer? A scapegoat. I understand. I have no choice. I have to start over again. The real scapegoat is the elephant. It'll be executed as the authorities need a guilty party. So don't look back. Good luck.
Is it over? Is it finally dead? Goliath has been executed, yes. A barbaric and crude event that your ears shouldn't hear about. Rather, a remarkable achievement of justice. Just what I was expecting. Punitive and inevitable. It can't be undone, so why talk about it? Well, you can't undo the past either. But you yourself keep holding on to that. Speaking of which, I have prepared some of my father's belongings. I am more than happy to give them to you as a reward. Goodbye, Mr. Ohm. That's more than enough. Thank you and farewell, Miss Gilden. You were right about Goliath. Everyone confirmed your opinion. They all agree that the beast is vicious. The animal wielded two tons of rage, and Mr. Gildon regrettably didn't stand a chance. The mating season only served to amplify its temper. Oh, spare me. That's a little too much detail, thank you. What is the point of this conclusion? How do you plan to use your findings? Well, I see no other option but to get rid of the elephant. So you can, without any doubt... Execute it? Oh, what a relief! No more stench, no more fear. But you seem hesitant. Well, I was just thinking, do you really want to punish an animal that doesn't understand its guilt? It didn't kill your father as an act of revenge. That cursed elephant tore my family apart. I demand retribution. I have the right to avenge my father's death. As you wish, you are now its owner. I must only tell you that such an act cannot be undone. I only wish to sleep in peace with the knowledge that that beast can't return. Is it over? Is it finally dead? Goliath has been executed, yes. A barbaric and crude event that your ears shouldn't hear about. Rather, a remarkable achievement of justice. Just what I was expecting. Punitive and inevitable. It can't be undone, so why talk about it? Well, you can't undo the past either. But you yourself keep holding on to that. Speaking of which, I have prepared some of my father's belongings. I am more than happy to give them to you as a reward. Goodbye, Mr. Ohm. That's more than enough. Thank you and farewell, Miss Gilden. Miss Gilden, I know how much you dislike the elephant. Rather more than dislike. I wish I could have done more to that wretch than just speak of it. But it's innocent. Goliath did not intend to kill your father. It was provoked, scared, and in mating season. Your father took Goliath's normal state for granted, and in doing so made a mistake that caused the elephant to be aggressive. Stop it! I already know the answer. I don't need your moral perspective on this situation. I don't know why you wasted your time. I actually did more than you. Which involved what, Miss Gilden? A man with a big wallet made an offer to take the elephant away. I accepted it. I was so naive thinking that it was me who was so helpless. But you are useless too. I am glad that the elephant is no longer of your concern, but I need to make sure. I don't care and I don't want to listen. I thought you wouldn't turn... Why is that? Well, I suppose it's the English way to leave without saying goodbye, but I never planned to abandon you. Because you brought the filthy beast here. 
because you did nothing to ensure its proper punishment. I had to do everything, not you. I was piecing together your father's murder. There was nothing to piece together. I told you, it was Goliath. I never asked you to talk with anyone. I asked you to find stupid animal. Even if my efforts are invisible, that does not mean that I did nothing. I don't have the strength to argue. These are my father's belongings. They're about your mother. Take them all and leave me be. I won't waste your time any longer, Miss Gildon. Thank you for your help. <laughs>